captain Paul Thorburn. Ian Watkins, who had such a memorable debut at Twickenham, was retained. In the commentary box, Bill Beaumont and Bill McLaren. And Scotland hope to field the side who beat France, but they've won new cap in the Scotland B captain Andrew Kerr, who forms a venerable link with Roy Laidlaw, a physically imposing back division with 31 major international tries to their credit, in wake of a workmanlike pack with John Jeffrey replacing the injured Derek Turnbull. A denizen of the darkened world of the front row is the captain, Gary Callender. And there, a rich experience in store for Frenchman Yves Brissy. 44-year-old ex-flanker with the Monteur Club, his first major international, and I tell you, he once sent off the Coventry and Bridge End hookers in the same match, so the fellas had better watch their P's and Q's down there. We're all set for this crucial 92nd match between Wales and Scotland as Gavin Hastings prepares to kick off. Fairly orthodox kick as up goes Phil May. Taken on by Roy Laidlaw. And Ivan Tukolo filled in a scrum half as he used to do for the Scottish schools. Gary Callender out there to Finlay Calder. Calder charging on, half caught there by Davies. Laidlaw, Scott Hastings, back pass to Tate. Trouble there as Tate takes it. Scott Hastings goes on, and Scott Hastings is into the corner. The referee has decided that it has gone into touch and that it'll be a throw-in. And Scott Hastings denied a fifth try for Scotland. He got as close as this, he made a lovely inward jink. And there a good tackle by Mark Ring just pushed his feet into touch. Watkins throws, it's loose, Calder has scored! Finlay Calder scores his first try for Scotland. Four points to nil. And they've played just one and a half minutes. It was one of those very simple ones. All the jumpers missed it, Moriarty as well, and Calder had a lovely bounce. Thank you very much. Well, really, it's a soft try that Wales concede here, and it's Richard Moriarty who didn't pick the ball up there, and it enables Calder, who stood a good couple of yards at the back of the line-out, with a simple task of just going down onto the ball to score the try. And listen to the cheering for... Wales especially, but the big Scots contingent letting, their, uh, letting themselves be heard. Watkins high, Noster going, Jeffrey going through. Laidlaw, Laidlaw the chip kick. Penalty to the Scots. Robert Norshire just asking Eve Brissy what the penalty was for. And Gary Callender asks Gavin Hastings to kick for goal. And great roars of song here, but Gavin Hastings having to hold his concentration here. Hastings then pulling it round. It counts. Seven points to nil, the Scots lead. And there's Staff Jones, the uh, one Pontypool forward in the Welsh side, although, of course, there's Mark Ring who plays for Pontypool and he's in the backs. But he's a real bulwark in this front row. And there, Staff Jones in obvious discomfort. And what a tragedy so early in the match for him to have to leave the field. And Wales, for the moment, are one man shot. Good jump by Cronin. Through goes Moriarty. Moriarty charging on. That was a great drive. Now it's Robert Jones. Davies along the line to ring, trying to miss out everybody. Hadley, Hadley tackled by Duncan. And one of those all embracing Duncan tackles on this big lad, Adrian Hadley. And they'll be delighted. At nothing all in Neath, as Jeremy Pugh comes on for his second cap, he got his first against the Americans in November, after playing for the B team against France in October. But look at this lovely pass from Ring, it bounced nicely for Hadley, but he didn't have the legs of Duncan and Hastings did the rest.
it's a good, steady well scrummage. They'll be pleased about that as Robert Jones goes. There's the fast one to Hadley coming in. Now the pick-up by Phillips. Into the Scottish 22, great subs there with Noster in. Robert Jones, the feed out along the line there to Ring. Ring, Corburn, Yayan Evans, tackled by Ivan Tukalo. This was a lovely ball. Notice the wee dummy first of all to Davis. Then in came Hadley and it was a good ball for Wales to win after Roland Phillips had surged on. Then Jeremy Pugh went on. Now this was Robert Norster, the lock forward. And then, this was where the danger started. Mark Ring and then Paul Thorburn, the fullback. But look how Tukolo cleverly left Thorburn to the men inside him and stayed with his man, Yayan Evans. And so they're the most disappointed man, I think, in Cardiff at the moment. Staff Jones, who's had to come off the field. And uh, that's the score after almost 20 minutes. Robert Nicholas Jones of uh, Trebanus. Place for Swansea. Oh, good reverse pass. Jonathan Davis. There's that acceleration. Very, very quick. Back goes Derry White. The try is scored. Wonderful try by Davis. Can you believe it? An incredible bit of acceleration. All the congratulations there. And well deserved. Just watch it. That initially looked to be not a lot on as he was forced to change. Now watch the little kick through and the tremendous pace. Look at Jonathan Davis beating Derry quite to it. That was a very good individualist try. But Wales are back in the game. They've played 20 minutes. Well, it just shows what a good footballer Jonathan Davis is. He looks outside and notices the Scottish defence so quickly. Yet he's so aware because of the whole left by the Scottish back row. He's aware of Derek White there, and he must give him at least three or four yards there in 15 and beats him. Scottish 10 metres line. David Soule against uh, David Young on this side. Now, you notice the, the, <laughs> the two flankers having a private battle, Richie Collins and John Jeffrey. Jonathan Davis, Blethyn Bowen, along the line to Ring. There's a chance here as Hadley comes in. Marvellous pick-up by Ring. Yayan Evans. Evans all the way. Oh, what a blistering run by Evans. That is a magnificent try. Merlin, the magician, couldn't have done it any better. It was magic, magic all the way. What a score. Just watch this. Jonathan Davis, Bowen, then Ring, watch how Ring picked up this low pass by Hadley, brilliant. And then, watch what this lad had to do. Yayan Evans, inside Hastings, inside Matt Duncan, inside everybody, jink, jink, jink. That was out of the top drawer. Paul Thorburn, Matt Duncan, claims that Thorburn offered to kick, but he hadn't. He does it now, it's over, and Wales are ahead. And here we see the try from back of the... And really, it's the inclusion here of Adrian Hadley. The Paul Thorburn is used there as a dummy move, and the loop round here that Hadley makes the ball available. But just really, I'm certain that Gavin Hastings must be kicking himself there for not picking up Ian Evans. But it, he's able to cut back, sidestep inside the Scottish cover, and despite a despairing tackle by David Sull. Outstanding try there by Ian Evans. So we were uh, all aware of the ability of the Welsh backs to string things together, as they did against England for two lovely tries. And there's another beauty. And the switching at the line out. Alistair Campbell and Phil May there, but meant over the top to John Jeffrey. He's got it. Caught by Paul Moriarty. The pick up there by Finlay Calder again. Calder still surging on. Now the pick up by Laidlaw. Laidlaw to Kerr. Kerr to Alan Tate. Alan Tate inside to Duncan. Duncan has scored. What a game this is turning out to be. His seventh try for Scotland. And the lead seesawing all over the place.
It was brilliant play by Finlay Calder. What a match he's having. Driving on, see how he took four or five, and then Laidlaw. Kerr, a lovely pass to his clubmate Alan Tate. He went in, took the defence with him, and then the scissors there by Duncan. A good try. Great play by Finlay Calder. He sucks in the defence. You see him driving, driving. The three or four defenders there. Notice how he keeps on his feet all the time. When the ball comes available for Roy Laidlaw, just notice the angle of run by Alan Tate. He strains the lineup. He runs straight. But Matt Duncan does extremely well there to pick the ball up with one hand to go over. Uh, good play made by the Scottish back row. Jonathan Davis goes for the dead ball and succeeds. Well, Scotland-Wales matches over the last uh, 10, 15 years have produced almost unfailingly marvellous play, and this one is certainly living up to that tradition. Gavin Hastings. Through there goes Derek White. White to Calder. Calder surges into Mark Ring. Taken on again by Cronin. Derek White, magnificent Scottish forward play. Now it's Laidlaw, Andrew Kerr, Scott Hastings. Hastings half through, feeding on to Laidlaw. Down goes Norrie Rowan. We'll have a scrimmage because the ball fell in, says Yves Bressy. And the crowd everywhere, you can hear the clapping for that effort by the Scots. Laidlaw. Typical sniping run by Laidlaw. Pick up by Campbell. Campbell on to Rowan. Rowan caught by May over the 22. Now it's Laidlaw again. Laidlaw out to Kerr, Kerr to Gavin Hastings, a marvellous tackle by Jonathan Davis. The little standoff really saved a try there, because Gavin Hastings, 15 stone of him, was on the run. Welsh 22. Long one by Callender for Finlay Calder. Derry White, White charges, almost in front of the Welsh posts. Lovely ball again for Laidlaw. Laidlaw switching. Laidlaw into Finlay Calder again. Callender drives, caught by May. And a penalty for offside against the Welshman. Jonathan Davis thought it was a penalty to Wales. And so Gavin Hastings will ponder this kick very carefully because he's... Uh, He's uh, already missed three from out on that left-hand side. Gavin Hastings then. Straight on a plumb line, that one. 14 points to 10. We have a couple of minutes to go to the break. And Gavin Hastings has reached 200 points in internationals. And there aren't many fellas who've managed that. 201 points now for Scotland in 16 internationals. Calendar long. Richie Collins catches. Penalty for pushing. Penalty to the Scots for line out pushing. So, what a chance for Gavin Hastings. We, as I say, we're into the. Uh, Injury time at the interval by three and a half minutes. Gavin Hastings, oh, no problems with that one. Three penalty goals for the big Watsonian. 17 points to 10, Scotland lead. The whistle has gone for half time, and that has been one of the most thrilling first halves to an international that I can remember. Four superb tries. Scotland in the lead by seven clear points. So Paul Thorburn gets the second half going with that long kick to Gavin Hastings. And he didn't have much of an angle. Two big men, Robert Noster and Damian Cronin. Back there from Callender, but through there went Watkins. He's a very quick little fellow, and he did well there. Robert Jones, Jonathan Davis, Richie Collins, head on there to Bowen. Bowen out to Thorburn. Thorburn out 
there to Yayan Evans. The pass was bad. Gavin Hastings kicked on. But it was good handling here as Richie Collins fed on. Now, Bowen did well. He dummied. And then Thorburn had a lot of room. And in fact, the pass wasn't such a bad one. It should have been taken. Watkins knocked back by White, taken by David So. Caught by Richie Collins, the drive on by Calder. That's the feed on to Alistair Campbell. Now it's Laidlaw, out there to Matt Duncan. Matt Duncan, not the greatest kicker in the world. Kicked on by Hastings, that was slightly forward to Thorburn. Thorburn the kick in, Scott Hastings catches. Scott Hastings goes, running past Richie Collins. Caught by him, just short of halfway. Wasn't held, he was allowed to get up, it was okay. The pick up by Norster. Now it's Phillips, tackled by Calder. Penalty against Wales. Well, well, I can't understand what that decision was for because certainly I think Scott Hastings was a little bit fortunate to get away with playing uh, the, the ball on the ground there, but I just can't understand why the referee has penalised Paul Moriarty because he's a good four or five yards behind the breakdown situation. I have to tell you that Gavin Hastings is going to kick a penalty from there. Gavin Hastings. Oh, he's given it a great thump. What a belt he's given it. It's over! That is a Paul Thorburn for Gavin Hastings. Because two years ago, Paul Thorburn did the same to Scotland. And there, Gavin Hastings has put Scotland 10 points in the lead. It was a massive kick, and really the Cardiff crowd are stunned a bit with the power of that one. Scotland's 22. Jones, Davis, lovely catch. Ring, there's the big miss pass out to Hadley. Hadley high, not far enough forward. In came Gavin Hastings, taken in. Scott should win quite a good ball here as Hastings goes. And that's a beautifully manufactured punt by Gavin Hastings. Up comes Matt Duncan. It was a superb punt because he was well outside his 22. Quick throw in by Hadley. Taken by Ring. Ring is away. Feeding on to Richie Collins. Richie Collins up to the 22. A great tackle by Gavin Hastings. He had three men outside him. He will be annoyed with himself for that. It really was a superb opportunity. A two-man overlap winner, I thought. Not many referees, actually, in the home countries would have allowed that, but I think the re French referees, they are a little bit looser and they allow players to get away with it. And here he did again, the Richie Collins driving down the middle of the park. He's got Norster outside him, and yet he makes it easy for Hastings by running straight at him. That one went to the far side. Robert Jones again, oh what a pass to Ring, they've opened up the whole way. Ring, caught and thrown down, a chance here for Scotland as Gavin Hastings throws. Adrian Hadley caught, out there to Yayan Evans, tackled by Jeffrey. brilliant pass from Evans, out to Jones to Ring, that was magic stuff. Ring going all the way, inside there to Watkins. Watkins the hooker over the 22. Now it's fed back from Phillips, Jones again, Ring to Hadley. Hadley to Thorburn, Thorburn still knocked over. Pick up again by Ring. Alan Tate goes through, bled in Bowen now. Oh dear, they're just about as breathless as I am, those fellas down there. But some of the Welsh manufacturing of the pass delighted the crowd here, it really was super stuff. And here we see now Robert Jones, the long pass again, and Thor Paul Thorburn, he's really taking the ball stood still there. And notice how quickly the Scots are up in defence. Whilst Alan Tate knocks the ball on, the referee obviously has to give a scrum for that offence. Now, watch this positioning of Jonathan Davis here. He's pretty deep. He's well away because Jones has a marvellous pass off either hand. Just let's watch this. Woof! Away it goes. Jonathan Davis. Bowen on the dummy run. That's Paul Thorburn. Thorburn almost up to the post. Taken on there by Richie Collins. Watkins driving. The try is given. Ian Watkins, the hooker. Oh, the 
he'll be thrilled down at Abbeville with that one, just as he is. It was another very good try indeed. 20 points to 14. They played almost 12 minutes. And this was it. What a lovely pass. Now watch how Paul Thorburn came in. Two dummy moves. The pass looks slightly forward, but oh, he was going like a train. The drive on by Richie Collins and then Watkins surged on there with Moriarty and Norster helping. Good score. Paul Thorburn straight through. And here we see it. Just notice how the two Scottish centres are drawn in by the double double scissors by Davis. And then Thorburn altered his angle of run well. And just look at Moriarty here, because he's the one who supplies the impetus to Watkins to crash over for the try. It's really the pressure that uh, Moriarty gave behind Watkins and the momentum that took him over. Welsh have done. They're cut by Finlay Calder. Calder. Trying to feed his number eight forward there. Referee deciding there was no offside, no ruck or mall. Good chance here as Davis switches. Long pass out to Bowen. Bowen back inside to Robert Jones. Jones the kick through. Laidlaw touches down. It was over the line for the 22. Brilliant judgment by the Scottish scrum half. Gavin Hastings trying a quick one. The knockout to Hadley. Back inside to Richie Collins. Everything's happening here at Cardiff. This is Phillips caught by Gavin Hastings and by Sol. Noster couldn't get it away. A penalty to Wales for offside. And not for the first time, a Gavin Hastings drop out attempt being charged down has uh, given Scotland real problems. It's easy to say in retrospect, but it'd be far, it would have been far wiser for him just to have settled things down because things were getting very frantic. Play was going at 19 miles an hour. I'm certain his forwards would have been cursing him for that dropout. It just needed to just steady the thing down. So we go back to Paul Thorburn with two conversions to his credit. And a fairly straightforward one for him. Yes, on a plumb line. Seven points for Paul Thorburn, 147 altogether, and there's one point in it. And they've just 15 minutes to go. Richie Collins, the uh, South Wales policeman there, number seven at the back. Cronin got hands to it, through went Watkins. Laidlaw tried to stop him. Now it's a good ball for Wales. Jonathan Davis, along the line to ring to Bowen. This is to Hadley, Hadley wide. Hadley has Yayan Evans inside him. Gavin Hastings takes. And so that was another brilliant Welsh move because not only did Adrian Hadley here get the ball, but inside him was the other winger from away over on the right-hand side. Eight minutes of the match to go. 20 points to 19. Scotland lead. Norshire had dropped back, but he was thwarted by White. Out to Davis. Davis the drop goal. It looks a bit boozy, but it's there. Jonathan Davis' 11th drop goal for Wales, and Wales have gone into the lead. 22 points to 20. They've just eight minutes to go. It was a lovely ball to get from the line-out. Robert Norster got hands first, then Phil May fed it, and then watch this. It was a little bit inebriated, but it made it, and they all count. That's halfway. Callender using the tail again. Finlay Calder to White. Laidlaw. David Soule charges on there to Alistair Campbell. 
Beautifully back to Jonathan Davis. There's a chance here if Bledin Bowen goes. Now it's Paul Thorburn. Thorburn inside to Bledin Bowen. A super tackle by Gavin Hastings. Richie Collins on to Phillips. Outside Scotland's 22. Down goes Phil May to try and rescue it for Wales. And he's succeeded. Robert Jones goes. Jones beautifully tackled by Leila. Inside to Hadley. Watkins again. Five metres short of the Scottish line. A surging attack by the Welshman as the whistle goes. Ball had gone forward. Watch and see how the Welsh backs move this ball away. They're so quick. Look at that. Out of the tackle, Adrian Hadley. Beautiful timing of the pass. And eventually Ian Watkins was tackled short to the line. With only about four minutes left. And Wales ahead, 22-20. Scots have held it. Now it's Laidlaw, Laidlaw out there to Calder. Pick up by Jeffrey. And the kick into touch by Jonathan Davis. Who had a look at Alistair Campbell and then... <laughs> and then fought twice of it. <laughs> I would think you look for Jonathan Davis maybe to drop another goal here. He had a word with Bledin by the captain. He just, he just cleaned his boots, so it wouldn't surprise me to see him having another go here for a drop goal. He went out wide there, as you would see, and had a word with Bledin Bowen, his captain. Will I have a pop, he said, or do you want to pass? Into the last minute, bit of injury time to go, as Robert Jones feeds again. Jonathan Davis, the drop goal once more. Is it wide? The arm is raised, and he's done it again. And that surely must be the score that wins the game for Wales. 25 points to 20 they lead and we're almost into injury time again the line out was the crucial one Robert Norster and how Jones got the ball away to Davies he had a lot of room once it was through no bother we've seen in the last 10 minutes two drop goals that have really sealed the game for Wales Derek White didn't quite control that one and Bledon Bowen is away to ring and ring has no doubt what to do and the Scots will be furious about that because they'd won the strike it was at the number eight feet and Wales pinched it what it needed there was a fairly quick ball the whistle has gone for the end of the match and Wales have won a superb international match of cut and thrust 25 points to 20. They fought back after being 10 points down. We've had, what, one, two, five tries altogether. Two superb drop goals by Jonathan Davis. And, Bill, that's been some game. It was quite the most magnificent game that I've seen for a long time. That we saw it's a fascinating battle that the Scottish forwards had the ascendancy in the first half, yet in the second that the Welsh kept coming back at them. And really, at the end of the day, it was the 